was which is the world's oldest currency that is still in use and the answer for that question is pound sterling uk is official unit of currency and the second question was what was the motto found on the first us coin and the answer for that question is mind your business the topic for today's devotion is breathe deeply and live turn your bibles to second timothy chapter 3 verse 16 second timothy chapter 3 verse 16 all scripture is god breathed and is useful for teaching rebuking correcting and training in righteousness one thing that is very important while we are on this hike it would be pretty hard to hike if you and i were not breathing it's important to breathe in deeply that's called inhaling it's important to breathe out so that you'll have room for a new fresh air in your lungs it's very important because the plants you see all around use the air breathe out it's called carbon dioxide and it brings life to all the plants in our world do you know that breathing is a process of moving air into and from the lungs to facilitate gas exchange and to flush out carbon dioxide and bring in oxygen an average person breathes an equivalent of 13 pints of air every minute and takes 17 per day inhaled air is made up of 16% oxygen 4% carbon dioxide and 79% nitrogen our lungs swap around 4 to 5% of oxygen for carbon dioxide deep breathing helps to fight anxiety depression and stress most people can't hold their breath for a maximum of 1 to 2 minutes In 2010, Stig Sørensen of Denmark held his breath during a free dive for 22 minutes and got his name recorded in the Guinness Book of Records. That is the power of controlled breathing. This verse talks about something that God breathed out that gives us life too. That is eternal life. It's the Bible. Our verse says that God breathed out the words of the Bible. It also says that they are good for teaching lessons, helping us to see when we are sinning, and help us to be better people. All of that came from God's breath. Just like plants live from what we breathe out, we live from what God breathed out. The Holy Bible leads us to God, and He gives us eternal life, the best life of all. Now, everybody, it's question time. The first question for today is, what is the only organ that can float on water? And the second question for today is, what is the only animal that breathes only through its nose? Put your answers in the comment section below. Hit the like button and share this video with your friends. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified so that you won't miss any of these videos. I hope you all breathe deeply from God's word and live.